In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the solemnity of all the saints of our church. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. sa Diyos sa kaitaasan. At sa lupa'y kapayapaan sa mga taong kinalulugdan niya, pinupuri ka namin, dinarangal ka namin, sinasamba Dahil sa dakila mo ang aking kapurihan, Panginoong Diyos, Hari ng Langit, Diyos amang makapangyarihan sa
kasalanan ng sandibutan, maawa ka sa amin. Ikaw na nagalis ng mga kasalanan ng sandibutan, tanggapin mo ang aming kahilingan. Ikaw na naluluklok sa kanan ng ama, maawa ka sa amin. Sa pagkat ikaw lamang ang banal, ang banal, ikaw lamang ang Panginoon. Ikaw lamang, O Heso Kristo, ang kataas-taasan, ang kataas-taasan, kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Kasama ng Espiritu Santo, magbasa walang hanggan, Magpasa walang hanggan, magpasa walang hanggan. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, Bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels, who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. Heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne, before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne, and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen. Blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. 
The Lord's are the earth in its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For He founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see Your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in His holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what? is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from the God, his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. Everyone who has his hope based on Him makes himself pure, as He is pure. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you when they insult you or persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the solemnity of all the saints of our church. And Pope Francis would remind us that by imitating the saints, their holiness and their lives, we become saints ourselves. Kaya nga po ito ang hamon sa atin sa ating buhay pananampalataya. As we remember the saints, 
who have shown us how to live and how to die for the faith. Mga kapatid, gayahin natin ang mga santo para tayo rin ay maging banal, para tayo rin ay maging mga santo. The Gospel for today talks about the Beatitudes. Ito po yung siyam na blessed are they na narinig natin kanina sa Gospel reading. Ang mga ito po ay bahagi ng Sermon on the Mount na matatagpuan natin sa Gospel of St. Matthew. At kung atin pong pagninilay nilayan ang mga Beatitudes na ito, we can actually say and ask. Parang paradoxical naman po ang mga pronouncements at declarations ng ating Panginoon. Sa Filipino po o sa Tagalog, ang pinakamalapit na translation ng salitang paradox ay yung salitang kabalintunaan. Ito po yung mga statements o mga pangungusap na kadalasang imposibleng mangyari sa totoong buhay o kaya naman po medyo mahirap maintindihan, medyo mahirap maunawaan dahil tila po ba contradicting, mahirap maintindihan. Katulad na lang po ng mga Beatitudes na sinasabi ng ating Panginoon sa Sermon on the Mount. Paano nga naman magiging mapalad yung mga poor in spirit eh naghihirap na nga sila. At higit sa lahat, parang mukhang exclusive sa kanila yung kaharian ng langit, yung kingdom of heaven. And the same question can be applied, can be asked to the other eight Beatitudes. Bakit sa tingin ng Panginoon, blessed yung mga nahihirapan, mapalad yung nahihirapan sa buhay? Tapos titingin ka pa sa society natin ngayon na kung sino pa yung kurap, kung sino pa yung nanloloko ng kapwa at ng mga mamamayan, sila pa yung maalwan yung buhay, sila pa yung may magandang buhay, sila pa yung nag enjoy nasasarapan at nasisiyahan. Tapos yung mga tapat, yung nagpapakahirap sa buhay, sila pa yung hikahos at hirap na hirap sa buhay. Nasaan yung hustisya, Lord? Mga kapatid, ang pagiging mapalad po, ang pagiging blessed, at ang pagiging masaya ay hindi tungkol sa kung anong meron at sa kung anong wala ka. Parang yung sabi po ng isang Facebook post na nabasa ko, sabi po niya, happiness depends on your attitude not on what you have. Ang kasiyahan po ay nakasalalay sa iyong pag-uugali, hindi sa kung anong meron ka, hindi sa kung anong wala ka. At di po ba may katotohanan ito? Kaya nga po napakahalaga ng attitude ng ating pag-uugali, hindi lamang po sa ating buhay pananampalataya, pati na rin po sa ating estado, sa ating lipunan. Kaya nga po ang pagiging mapalad ay nasa attitude. Wala sa kung anong meron, wala sa kung anong wala ka. At higit sa lahat, hindi sa kung anong narating mo sa buhay. Kasi po kahit umulan ng grasya sa mundo, kahit bumaha ng yaman sa mundo, at kahit makapasyal ka pa sa buwan, hindi magiging sapat yan if your attitude is difficult to satisfy and is always looking for more and more and more. My dear brothers and sisters, being blessed is a choice. If you see your life as a blessing, and if you are satisfied and contented with the blessings you are receiving and with whatever you have, tunay ka ngang pinagpala, tunay ka ngang blessed. Kaya nga po, we pray to the Lord through the intercession of all the saints of our church that we may have the attitude to always see the brighter side so that we can consider ourselves as truly blessed, as truly satisfied. Just like the saints we are celebrating today who have shown us that true happiness will always be happiness 
with the Lord. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Heavenly Father that, like the saints, we may work for true treasures, the ones that can afford us welcome into the heavenly home. With confidence, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and deacons set their hearts on a life of simplicity, goodness, and charity in a world where wealth power and pleasure seem to be valued above all else we pray lord hear our prayer that the government and civil leaders strive for peace mercy and forgiveness in a world broken by war enmity and quarrels we pray lord hear our prayer for all the faithful remain loyal to the gospel values even at the cost of insult and persecution, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all the sick, the suffering, always be sustained by the love amid trials and temptations. And may we always remember that our true home is your heavenly kingdom, where Jesus, our Lord, has prepared a place for us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May you welcome our beloved dead before your heavenly throne and let them join the company of angels and all the saints. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of this Mass and for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Listen to our petitions, Father. Give us the strength and the courage to live the spirit of the gospel beatitudes so that one day we may receive a reward in heaven. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tanggapin mo, Panginoon, ang aming alay sa iyo, tilapay at alak mula sa kabutihan mo. Paspasan mo, Panginoon, ang aming handog sa iyo, gawing maging ka. Ang pag-aalay mo, ang tina 
kapayat alak, yung biyayang kaloob, kung iyong babasbasan, ay magiging pagkain, nagbibigay buhay. Tanggapin mo, Panginoon, ang aming alay sa iyo, tinapay at alak mula sa kabutihan mo. Basbasan mo, Panginoon, ang aming handog sa iyo, gawing maging katulad ng pag-aalay mo. Pray me, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that, just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory endowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our fealty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, 
he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ones, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. My dear friends, we have a Father in heaven. We pray to him in the words of Jesus as we sing. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy, you may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh, 
Ratio Imperata God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. All Dominican saints and blessed. Pray for us. Please all stand. Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God 
bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass ascended. Thanks be to God. Mapapalad kayong mahihirap ang kaharian ng Diyos sa inyo. Mapapalad kayong nagugutom sapagkat bubusugin kayo. Mapapalad kayong nahahapis sapagkat aaliwin kayo. Mapapalad, Panginoon, ang abang katulad mo. Mapapalad, Panginoon, ang abang katulad mo. Mapapalad kayong maawain, kaawaan kayo ng Diyos. Mapapalad kayong tumatangis sapagkat liligaya kayo. Mapapalad kayong inuusig, magahari ang Diyos sa inyo. Mapapalad, Panginoon, ang abang katulad mo. Mapapalad, Panginoon, 